What's up everybody, this is Lyle No Hippie Barbecue, and I had a request from another channel called What's Up With Lori, and uh, she said she does the same cranberry recipe every year, so she just wanted to see something different. So, first of all, I'm going to put a link to her site in the description and in the iCard above. Uh, but what I'm going to be doing is just a simple, it's a cranberry apple crisp. It's a pretty simple recipe. I'm going to bring you guys in so we can take a look at the ingredients. We'll go from there. Our ingredients are going to be, I have three apples, which is about three cups of apples. I'm going to go ahead and add this to the bowl. I have two cups of cranberries. One cup of Splenda or sugar and a half cup of flour. Now all I have to do is mix this in. So this is just going to be our kind of uh, the base to our uh, crisp. Anyway, I'm going to get this stuff really mixed in good and I'll be back in a second. Now the apples that I use for this are just regular, uh, you know, I just use green apples. I know that you could use whatever kind of apples you want in this. Uh, the cranberries I used were frozen. You could use fresh as well. So now that I have that mixed in, get this in my dish. And now, the rest of this, all I have to do, I'm going to go ahead and add to the same bowl, throw in my oatmeal. I will have a link, or not a link, I will have the uh, recipe in the description. Uh, cook time on this is about 15 minutes or so. Uh, those are some chopped pecans, and then just the butter. So now we just mix this up. <clears throat> And the oatmeal you're going to want to use is going to be the quick cook oatmeal. You don't want the uh, the long cook oatmeal. It's going to just take too long to uh, get done. All right, so we have this all mixed in. Now we just add this on top, spread it out. Now we get in the oven 350 degrees for about an hour and it's a done deal. It's that quick. This just came out of the oven as you can see. Man, it just looks beautiful and it's bubbling. I'm going to let it cool down about a good 30-45 minutes before I dig in. But it smells incredible. It's had about 35 minutes to cool down. Now it's time for me and Hetty Kruger over here to go ahead and take a bite and see what's up. This is another one. This is super simple to make, which is kind of what I've been trying to focus on this Thanksgiving. And um, man, that crust is great. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I might have this on the Thanksgiving menu if I don't. I mean, if I actually cook. Anyway, I appreciate you stopping by. No hippie barbecue. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.